everybody welcome back to my channel today I want to do a really nice minimal makeup look super natural super dewy and glowy and just kind of like use minimal powders I really love how this came out and I use a lot of sticks that you can use on your cheeks your lips your eyes multiple places I just really really love this so if you want to see how I got this dewy natural look then please keep watching okay for today I'm going to use the Armani Luminous Silk. This is in the shade 6.5. So this is the most glowy, natural foundation you will ever have in your entire life. It is so good. I'm going to use this with my Smashbox brush. This will give me a little bit more full coverage with it. See how it gives you like a good coverage, but it's still so glowy and dewy like it's your skin. I love this. I normally mix this foundation because I like more full coverage, but this is so pretty. I've actually never worn it on its own. This is so good. I really want this look to just be like super dewy. I'm gonna use like the least amount of powders that I could possibly use. I normally have to set everything with powders. I never go without powders, but for this look, I really don't wanna use powders. If you wanna wear this look and you need it to last all day, I would recommend just like setting things with a translucent powder. This is our amazing dewy look. If you do need to add a little more coverage, but you want it dewy and like glowy, I recommend this Tom Ford foundation stick. Like I'll show you, for example, I always get like little redness and breakouts here on my chin and like I have a little breakout here. Just do a little bit of this, just in the places where you want more coverage. And then just tap it in with your brush or your sponge. That way you're keeping that same dewy, nice luminous look, but you can add a little coverage where you need it. You can also do this with the concealer if you don't want to do that foundation stick, but that foundation stick is such good coverage, but it stays like so luminous. I'm obsessed with that. So for our concealer today, I want to use the MAC Pro Longer. The reason why I'm using this today, as opposed to my normal like shape tape or my um, Born This Way foundation, because this one dries down pretty matte. You don't necessarily have to powder it. Back in the day, I used to wear this under my eyes with no powder, and I'd also wear it as a foundation and just set with powder. But honestly, you don't have to set this with powder if you don't want to. And this is like the best, best, best concealer. It's gonna give you such full coverage. I'm just putting a little on my Fenty sponge. My shade is NC20. For this look, I want it to be like dewy and super natural. So I don't really want my under eye too, too, too bright. So I am gonna blend this out and if it's a little bright, I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of my foundation. I want this to be like just super seamless and not really like that full glam kind of look. I think that this looks really good. I don't feel like it's too bright where like you can see the difference between this and the foundation. So I think that I'm good right there and I don't need to blend anymore. We're gonna do our other eye now. I just like to put a half pump on my sponge or my brush. You don't need a full pump of this, like a little goes a long way. I don't know why they make so much come out on the pump, but. Okay, so now that our concealer is blended really well, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is the shade Medium Dark. I really love this because it's a liquid. It blends so easy and it gives you that nice like glowy effect but still being chiseled. Um, when you use this, you twist it to turn it on and off. Make sure you turn it off because I always forget and it leaks everywhere. You don't wanna waste this product, it's amazing. I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender to make sure it's seamless. This blends like so, so, so easy and so good. Like look at that, I barely tapped it. Okay, so for our highlight, I wanna use this Pat McGrath. This is the Golden Skin Fetish Highlighter Bomb Duo. I used this a long time ago and it's so good. So one end has a balm and then the other end has the highlighter stick. So the balm will make you just look so dewy and so like glossy. So I first am gonna use the highlighter stick and we're gonna just apply this straight to the skin. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge on the back and then just blend this. This is like so natural and so good. I'm gonna do like a few layers today for like that dewy look. 
So that is our first layer. For the second layer, I want to do the Charlotte Tilbury Highlight Wand. This is in Spotlight. I love this highlighter so much, but every time I set it with a powder, it's not as pretty as when you just put it on your skin. So I'm excited to not use powders with this today. Then let's go in with the balm side of this Pat McGrath Highlight Stick. I'm gonna take it on my finger so I don't ruin the balm. Just get a little bit on my pinky. This feels so good. And I'm just gonna tap that. This kind of gives like that wet look, but like an intense glow of your skin, like you're just wearing like an oil. I would only recommend putting the balm on the tops of the cheeks. I wouldn't recommend like putting this all over your face. So I'm gonna take the smallest amount of the MAC Studio Fix in N4 just to set my concealer to make sure that nothing transfers and it still looks really bright. And I'm gonna do this on a smaller, stiff brush just so I can place it exactly where I want it and powders won't go on my cheeks. Probably the only powder I'm gonna use, but we will see. I wanted to really like get something that you guys could use for multiple areas like your lips, your cheeks, your highlight, your blush, your eyes, everything all in one. So I got two nude sticks kits. I really love nude sticks so much. So if you've never heard of nude sticks, it's a line that two sisters started. They are so nice and so cute. I met them when I worked at Namie's and all of their products are like really cool sticks. They come in these little tins and then the tins come with mirrors. And also you'll get a sharpener in there as well for your pencil, which I love because they have like chubby stick pencils. One of my all time favorite black liners is their black liner. It says magnetic eye color in night. Amazing. They also have like highlight contour sticks, blush sticks, everything like they're so, so good. So I bought this little kit. This one came with three colors. So this one has sweet peach peony, sun kissed, and hey honey so one is a glow one's a matte and one's a bloom so you can use these all over basically so this all together with the tin was just $25 it comes in this cute box shows you all the colors on the side I highly recommend trying anything from nude sticks it's really really good so first I'm gonna take the little mini highlighter and I'm just gonna do a little under my brow and just tap a little bit on my cheek we want to be like super, super glowy, so just using a little amount. This one is Sweet Peach Peony, and I'm going to use this as a cheek color. So with cream cheek colors, you want to make sure that you put these down before you set anything with powder. And I just like to swipe it on the apples of the cheek, like here, and then you'll just blend it back. I love how tiny these are and how they all come together in one box with like a little mirror. You can really like keep these in your car or in your purse and just if you're on the go, you need something real quick, you can just swipe these eyes, cheeks and lips, pat it with your fingers and be on your way. So now that I have this on my cheeks, I'm gonna take my beauty sponge, this is the beauty blender, and you'll just tap this out. It looks so good guys, just so natural, so beautiful. Your skin shows through but you're still looking like super glowy and super glam. I don't have like the world's best texture skin. I do have like larger pores and like some scarring and some melasma, but it's cool. We're like rocking with what we have, okay? I'm sure you can see like the scarring under my brows. I got burned, so sorry about that. And if you'd like a little more, I'm gonna use a darker shade called Sunkissed. I'm gonna put a little bit here for a little bit more of like a bold cheek. So see how this is just like so flawless, so blended, so dewy? It just looks like so natural. I'm gonna also take the color Sun Kiss and just do this on my lips a little bit. Just to show you guys how versatile this is. This can be like your lip liner and your lipstick and your cheeks and your eyes all in one. So for our brow look today, I want this to be like super natural but bold at the same time. Instead of filling this in super solid, I think I'm just gonna do like brush strokes so they're super fluffy and nice. So first we want to brush up our brows. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I'm going to just take it on its side and just flick up. I want my brow to be like a little bushy and not solid. So you want to kind of like draw on the hair strokes. I'm just going backwards as opposed to like drawing down, if you can tell with the tip. 
go up like this. I'm just gonna extend my tail a tiny, tiny bit. So you see how this is more of like a natural brow, more fluffy, just kind of like all over the place. And I'm gonna take the clear brow gel by Anastasia and I'm just gonna put this through so it could be like a little more messy and stand up higher. Next for my eyes, I got this other little kit from Nude Sticks. It comes with three mini eye colors. It comes with the same box with a nice mirror and the sharpener in it. This looks like this from Sephora. So it has these three shades on it. So we have here Smoke, which is a dark gray. Burnish, which is kind of like a coppery champagne. And then Nudity, which is like a purpley champagne. I'm gonna take Burnish and I'm gonna do this as my lid color. These are so soft and so easy to use. You just swipe these all over your lid. They kind of remind me of the Laura Mercier, I believe they're called caviar sticks. They're like an eye color like this, which is a chubby pen. I feel like this is so easy for people who don't like wearing a lot of makeup or don't know how to apply makeup. You literally would just like rub this on and just pat out with your finger. This came out a little more gray than a copper. It looked like it was gonna be a copper, but it's kind of like a purple gray tone. But I'm just using this as the base. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Nudity, and I'm gonna just go over this, cause this will That was cute. Is it like too hot in here or what? I'll try to stick this back together, let's see. I feel like it's gonna break. Come on girl, let me use my finger. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see if I can See, this is like more of the look I wanted, like a bronzy, kind of like glowy look. We'll just take this nub. <laughs> okay, just to deepen the crease a little bit, I'm gonna just go in with my bronzer. This is the MAC Gimme Sun and my little MAC Fluffy Crease Brush. And I just wanna put a little bronze in the crease. I didn't want the lid to be like this, I don't know purpley or gray. I want it to be like more brown and bronzy, but we're gonna go in with a nice champagne shade over this. I just wanna do a little of this brown just to give me like a little contour. I'm gonna take my bronzer and just go a little under the eye so it's like kind of smoldery. Then for my lid, I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette and I'm gonna just take this shade here. It's called Nude and I wanna put that on my lid. I'm gonna use my finger for this. I just want this like super easy, super glowy. And you can do it a little up here as well. It doesn't have to just stay on the lid. You can kind of like tap it up here to be glowy. I'm gonna also take the same shade and just do this in the inner corners. A little here under the brow. I want this look to be a little more bronzy, so I am gonna go in with my powder bronzer on my face. I'm gonna use the big Morphe brush so that I'm not chiseled, I'm just glowy all over. Then I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown highlight. This is in Pink Glow. I'm gonna do this on a bigger brush today so that's more diffused. And this is what it looks like. It's pink and white and you swirl them together. I'm gonna go on with the NARS blush in Orgasm because it has like a gold in the pink. So I wanna just like brighten up here on my cheeks a tiny bit. I'm gonna take the MAC blush brush and just tap it on there and just kinda do this. And it doesn't need to go everywhere. Just tap it on your apples. A little on the nose. I like to do it a little on my eyes. I'm gonna just tap this so it's blended and soft. So let's drench our face in MAC Fix Plus. This is really gonna help all the products like sink in together and get that nice dewy look. Okay, while we let this dry, I wanna go in with a little bit of the black eyeliner. This is that Nude Sticks um, Magnetic Eye Color in Night. But what I wanna do is take my miniature brush. This is M508 and I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the brush and I'm just gonna go under my lashes 
just so it's like more defined, but we have a little bit of like a natural eye look. Next, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with the Laura Mercier eyelash curler. So now that they're curled, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm gonna coat these super, super well. I like to go down first and then wiggle it upwards. So this is just one coat on my little nub, so you can see how good this really is. It's so affordable, I wanna say it was like $11. And if you go to Ulta, they always have coupons too. Guys, if you're like me and like you took off your lash extensions and have no lashes left, or if just in general your lashes are not that long, that Laura Mercier eyelash curler makes them look so long and it doesn't hurt when you squeeze it. It also comes with like an extra little rubber pad for the inside. It doesn't pull out your eyelashes, so I would highly recommend that. So I just did a little mascara on the top and bottom for like a nice little like smoldering look. I'm not gonna do lashes today. We're just gonna finish up with the lips. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. This is just like super natural, kind of like flesh tone. It goes really well with this lip color we did. It's actually like the same color. So this is just our lip liner over that Nude Sticks lip. And lastly, I'm gonna do the Dose of Colors gloss and over the top. This is just like a nice gold shimmer. And I like to just apply this with my finger so that I don't put my lip color back into the tube. If you have to re-dip, just like use another finger. So this is our final look, guys. This is just like a really nice, glowy, cute, dewy, like minimal makeup look that you can use items for multiple areas of the face, like your cheeks, your lips, your eyes. I really love how this came out. It's just super natural. Um, this is something you could wear basically anywhere, any kind of occasion you want, on vacation, to the beach, on a date night, to school, to work. It's just so pretty. I just really love how this came out and I hope that you did too. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.